Good morning and Happy New Year. Let me know where you are in the world by leaving a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to get more updates. Hello, my name is Trisha Fulton and I'm at Passive Income Today. This is a short video to show you how to use ThriveCart, how to manually add a student to an existing course without going through the checkout. If you have any questions or something doesn't seem clear, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. Let's get started. So before I created this short tutorial, I took some screenshots of my ThriveCard account and I've blanked out any details of existing students just so that I could show you exactly step by step how to do this. I will include a link below and how you can download a copy of this presentation so you can use it as a go by or you could simply just go through this video quickly from start to finish and see how to do it for yourself. If you like I said, if you had any questions, let me know and I'm I'm happy to answer them. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to add a student manually to an existing course or product that you have without going through the checkout. Different case scenarios this may occur for you is when you are migrating from a, another platform, say Kajabi, Teachable, Kartra, and you're creating a whole new account on ThriveCard and you want to move all your students over, you could use it for that situation. Or perhaps you've got an existing client who you think will benefit from getting access to another course, but you don't want to charge them or put them through the checkout process. You can manually add them without taking any payment. And this is how you can do it. You can do it as a single student or multiple students and it's really easy it only takes a couple of minutes the first thing you need to do is navigate to your ThriveCut account and go to learn and then my students so learn is the little hat in the top black menu and then when you click on that it'll show you the second menu and you can see my students with the red arrow here Step two is you'll be able to see all your students on this page. There'll be multiple pages, but scroll to the bottom of that page and export both the download the CSV and import students. These two functions will, sh I'll show you what they do next. Um, the download CSV will give you an extract of all the students currently in all of your courses and the but button to the right import students will allow you to upload individually or as a multiple group. The first thing is download the CSV file more so for the format that you can use when you need to upload and then you can delete and clear those names and other new names you want to do. There's two ways that you can do this. Right now I'm showing you the longer way. It's probably more appropriate if you're doing multiple students because it's easy to do. If you just want to do one student at a time, the second way would probably help you and that's towards the end of this video. So let's focus on importing a list of students right now. So you click on import students, you choose which products or courses you would like them to have access to. You can choose one or multiple products. And this is a screenshot from my own account of all my different products. And uh, I could choose for any student to have access to one, five, 10, however many items I want them to have access to. And then uh, this is a close up so you can see it. And then the next step is to upload a CSV file. Now you may remember just a couple of minutes ago, I said down, download and export of all your students. What I'd like you to do is to use that file format and replace the existing names and add the new names to it that you would like to have. There'll be some basic information like the uh, first name, second name, the email address um, and some other details. So just fill it out as best as you can and then you save it on your desktop. Then you'll select the CSV file and upload it. And this is how it looks on my computer. So you can see the red arrow here points to the export. I renamed the file to upload student access and I went from there. Next thing is to complete the import. So you select the file, import the file, and then um, it asks you for a confirmation. Do you want to do this? Yes, begin importing. And then it will process it behind the scenes. You can close the window and it's all done. If you want to find out whether or not this worked a few minutes later and you're curious to see if it's actually been completed, it's really easy to do that. You can go back to your Learn account and check the students added to the course by looking at their profile or in bulk by downloading a full list as you saw at the very beginning. 
If you want to uh, search an individual student without going through a full list, this is the way I would do it, is I would just go into my Learn, my students, and I would type the name here. Now I've created a number of test accounts for myself when I've um, been creating products, so you might have that, and it's a good way just to test your first run before you actually amend someone's real profile details. So I did a search for Trisha, all courses search, and then it came up with my name, Trisha Test 1. Um, yes, it's an active account. The next bit I click was view profile. And in here, I could see that Trisha Test 1 had access to these two existing courses. Okay, cool, that's the right one that I want. And then I'm gonna click this button here, it says give access to a course. It's a little blue button on the right-hand side. Now, this is the quick solution, guys. If you're looking to just add, take one student, add a course on, this is how you should do it. But if you're looking at a bit more of a complicated, you know, bigger group of people, the first method using the CSV file will probably be the most streamlined method for you. So once I've clicked view profile and I click give access to a course, it's really easy. I just chose the courses like I had the list before and then I um, added it and it says here, updated your students successfully. It's all been done. And that's really as simple as that. Um, now, if you haven't yet joined, I have Thrivecart School. It's a free course that I offer to everyone that's using Thrivecart, new and existing students. Um, you are very welcome to get access to this. There's a ton of great tips in there. I hope you find it helpful. And if you care to buy me a cup of coffee, I would love that so much. When you go through the checkout, this course is completely free or you can go pay your own price and you can grab me a coffee. I would be very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, leave a message and I'll be happy to respond. Happy New Year to you no matter where you are and I wish you all the best for 2024.